Can I get wild Pokemon here? I doubt it. That would be no. Alright, where the fuck is Heart? He's gonna walk on up. Yep. Taxidermy. Idiots down at Homicide couldn't even be bothered to give it a few pokes. Or to get this evidence out of the rain before it's destroyed. Sheesh, Lafayette. Why does it even matter? No body, no crime. Unless you plan on switching the charges to a B and E and destruction of property. Plus, the principle of being a suspect is premised on him being cruel to Pokemon. If someone faked a death with the taxidermy Pokemon, it means that they didn't want to kill Stumpy. Making it more and more likely that my primary suspect is indeed the culprit. Which I believe to be the protest leader. But why does the protest leader not want school to continue? All right. Sir. Uh, I think we've got more than that way. Huh? Wait, then who did it? I remember we talked to somebody and said that they were the pr primary suspect. Let me just double check, but I don't think it's Henry. Is it Calvin? Surely not Calvin, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Just double checking. Because he has no connection to the crime at all. Okay, never mind. Um... We were literally talking to somebody who was like, Oh, does that make me the prime suspect? Oh wait, do we just need to go to Leo with it? We probably just need to go to Leo with this information. Well, let's see. Chop chop, I'd like a solid conclusion by the end of the day. Already done. All I had to do was look at the body. You snuck your way into the crime scene? Leo, if you had just told the others off right from the get-go or actually done a proper investigation, you wouldn't still be here. The head is a fake. The letter is a fake. Pack up and go home. Sylvester, you realize I just wanted outside confirmation to vet my investigation, right? To stamp out controversy. The... the... You really haven't changed, eh? You could solve the case, but you couldn't realize the obvious? Right. I'll have the boys pick up that protest leader on our way out. See you around, detective. <sighs> ah, you're that other detective, correct? Indeed. I am Blackthorn Academy's principal, Iodine. You go by your Serenity code name? Yes. And you are, uh, are you all right? You're shaking. Uh, um, uh, I'll be okay. I'm Detective Sylvester Lafayette IV. Anyway, I should give a proper goodbye to the kids, seeing as I'm leaving them here at this school. All alone. Why not stay another day? We were supposed to have parent-teacher conferences, but that got delayed. 
Okay, you've talked me into it. And that is, in fact, the end of case 18. Hmm. And here we are. We're back as Mordecai. We have documentation that my client is taking his Pokemon to regular vet checkups. In addition, he has been in contact with a behaviorist to ensure Zepdos is a danger to no one. Jeez, the boss isn't gonna like this. What do we do? How did you... How did you... How did these guys get in... Uh, underground? I thought they were their band. Or is that just Lafayette's? Remember that there's a lawyer in the room and you don't want a lawsuit on your hands if you decide to get creative. Y yes absolutely correct, sir. Idiots. Good job, Furo. That'll keep the city off our backs for a bit. <clears throat> oh, and thanks, Arturo. No problem. It's good to see that you've made inroads with Zapdos. <laughs> As it just leaves. So, what plan that you didn't warn me about uh, do you have scheduled for these next few days? Oh, that's hardly fair. I beg to differ. I never know what's going on until you suddenly drop it on. Can't you add a little foreshadowing or something? Oh, don't worry. This has been foreshadowed. It has? I've gotten us two tickets to the big regatta happening this weekend, and I'm sure you've heard a few elites talking about it. I heard the Leonardo Donna talking about it. Well, we did a little more than talk at my trial, but Arturo doesn't need to know that I tampered with the evidence. See, all of Riverview's upper crust will be there. It'll be a good experience for you, Kai. You need to get used to socializing properly if you want to restore your family's influence. Uh, I'm not sure I'm really comfortable with that. I don't know an oyster fork from a salad fork. Same. Who, who does? You've been getting a lot of invitations to parties. Ramir has been RSVPing them all them all know given how busy you've been i've been getting mail oh yes lots of mail plenty of unsolicited spam business offers death threats oh and we had the most charming letter bomb the other day letter bomb don't worry we disarmed the voltorb this is why i have ramira open everything just so long as you're not the one inhaling the anthrax you're fine I don't want Ramira inhaling anthrax either. I'll RSVP you for, say, three parties. You show up at a few, get some socializing practice in, and then you'll be ready. I don't know about this. Ramira! What? Your Mordecai's date! No overtime! Wait, wait, this is so perfect. Remember when I was like, I'm shipping Ramira and Mordecai, like, immediately after they met, and now they have they have to go to parties together? Oh yeah, this is, this is good. This is good. She'll keep most of the floozies at bay. And maybe I'll see if I can borrow Rosewell's bodyguard for you. We'll keep him covert, of course. No sense in making it too obvious. He can even bring your cousin along. How convenient. Uh, um, I don't know what to say. Typically, when someone does you a favor, you say thanks. Case 19. Starry Soiree. Starry Soiree. Hmm. This shit's fucking amazing. Oh, hey, uh, Mordecai. How's it going? I need some advice about investigating people. Sure thing, but first answer my question. I'm fine. It's just been busy. Now investigation. What kind of information are you gathering? Personal? Business? Both. Arturo wants me to network and stuff. Personal info is easy. People like to talk about themselves. People like to gossip about others. What about antisocial people or people who don't want to talk? 
You'll have to walk carefully there. If someone's shy, er interrogating them isn't going to work. Find common ground, or at least pretend to. That gets people to open up. Alright, business. Say I'm talking to CEOs or something. Flatter them. Talk about investors or reasons to invest. From there, you just need to peel away the fluff. Okay. Now, really, Mordecai, are you doing okay? Are you still getting a hard time over your family? Hard time is describing it a little lightly, but I can handle it. You? Well, we're gonna stay an extra day. Just to have a proper goodbye with the kids and all that. They've, um, really opened up over the past few days. I really do think this will help them, Mordecai. Getting the kids away from the Leonardos. Mm-hmm. Oh! Ho 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 ho! Mr. Detective! Hey 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 hey! Anna, what brings you here? You have to come out to the cave on Route 2 right now! Quick, quick, quick! I think that's my cue to go. You sound like you've gotten attached to something that isn't a swine of. Uh, I mean, just a little. I've never really been viewed or thought of myself as eternal. I know. Wait. No, what, what? no Mordecai? We have to do Sylvester things? No! No! I wanted to do Mordecai things. Are we... Okay, the level cap's still the same. Okay, interesting. Um, nobody's in this room either. Well... Whatever. Uh, guess who's not here anymore? Anyways, we're also here at this... Can we literally just walk into the school? I do want to check one thing. Or a few things. Um... Can we go back here? Oh, the janitor is back. This, this, I feel like this is a side quest. What brings you back here? Just poking around, as is my habit. You? I'm just inspecting the shrine. It needs to be kept in good condition, after all. It seems like we're running low on star flower petals. Detective, would you mind doing me a favor? The flowers for the shrine grow around Route 2 and Twisting Cave. Could you collect, say, five or so? Sure, we're heading back to Route 2 anyways, so we might as well. We might as well. Alright, Route 2, here we go, here we come. Um, where is everybody? Is Eloise still here? No. Um. Hmm. What the fuck is going on? Oh god, for a second I thought I was... What? Hmm? What? Where is everybody? What? The fuck is everybody? Oh, is there a cave over here? Is this what we're... No, wait. What? Where the fuck is everybody? Am I stupid? I mean, don't answer that question. I know I'm stupid, but like... Where is everybody? Are these oh these are the star ones okay good to see the tile am i how stupid am i do we need to go all the way back to the cave is that what we need to do i'm just gonna assume that's what we need to do
This is a bad case of me reading to enunciate but not reading to pay attention. Oh, well, here's... Here's somebody. Oh! Sylvester! Again? Sorry, Mr. Detective. I should have warned you about the pit trap. Water under the bridge. Why'd you want me out here? I saw a super ultra rare Pokemon in this cave, and you have to help me catch it. Please? Alright, alright. What do you need me to do? Stay in the hole. Ano? Yeah? Why did you put bananas on my head? Tropius likes them! <laughs> nice. Uh, Tropius. Ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Help me, it's called. Oh, hell no. Level ah, literally. Jesus, bro. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, fuck. The fact that we've only taken one, one damage so far, though, pretty good. I'm alive. I'm still alive. Mr. Detective. Ground. Sweet. Solid. Ground. I'll never leave you again. Are you okay? No. Tropius just decided to take me for a flight. I guess I made for an alright passenger. We didn't run into too many obstacles. Hey, Tropius left us something. A leaf stone? Not worth it. I thought you were a goner. You were screaming a lot. I don't care for heights. Anno started crying. My arms were still shaky, but I gave him a hug. I almost killed you. Hey, don't feel bad. You're not the first to almost kill me. Just the other day, Eloise. <laughs> I might be here a while. Oh. Rebecca's Mordecai. Let's go! <laughs> Mordecai! See, this isn't so bad. At least you'll know some of people some of the people at this party. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So now, so long as that stalker doesn't show up again, we should be fine. We know he's going to. Ah, speaking of stalkers, I should inform you about all the people who Mordecai currently has a restraining order against. Sounds good. You have their profiles on hand? Yeah, on my phone. I can brief you inside. Wait. I have restraining orders against people? Well, quite a few people take issue with you being a Flores. I guess it isn't surprising. I just wish I'd get told these things instead of having them dropped on me. Bro is... It's not good. Well, I guess we don't have... We still don't have... Um... What's his face? We still don't have... Um... Zapdos on the team. I need to curtain up so I can actually see outside. Well, we're back at Priya's place to do some, some socializing. Ah, welcome, welcome, welcome. That's a way warmer reception than I got the last time I was here. You know where the coat room is. Everyone else is currently upstairs. We're having a small casino night. Here's a coin case. And I'll even throw in a thousand coins to start. 
Bro, dude, I'm about to impress so many people with my Voltorb flip skills. Let's fucking go. Oh, coat room right here. Hello there. Right, thanks for updating my list. No problem. Want to do my job for me and scare away any floozies while you're at it? Please do. Give me a yell if someone's causing you problems. Flirting women included. <laughs> thanks. I don't think Arturo considered how me claiming to be Mordecai's girlfriend would affect my own reputation. I've got enough work opening his hate mail without getting my own. Arturo isn't the most considerate. Anyway, when you're ready to leave this party, let me know. We'll head to the next one. Okay. I'm merely managing the coats. Well, the coat room is... Can I... No? Okay. So that's that's it. You're fine to not have me tail you, right? I hope so. Anyway, once you socialize, okay. Not done here yet. There's still people I want to talk to. Should play all the games as well. Just try to be polite. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you? We still have a few more guests arriving. I'll be greeting until then. Who else is coming? A few acting friends. No one I'd expect you to be familiar with, though. Dude, I feel like. Do I feel like I gotta make an appearance? I gotta say hi to everybody? This is like family party type shit. Ah! Uh, um. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Sammy is, uh, uh was here. He, Priya, and Angeline are friends. Can I. I want to see if he's in the coat room. No, no Sammy in the coat room either. Well, let's actually go upstairs this time. I'm sorry about that. I've tried to talk a bit of sense into him, but he's stubborn. Oh. It... It stings. I get where he's coming from. Sammy's reputation is tied to his business. He doesn't need the drama. You should see some of what Mordecai's been through. Yes, I've heard his lawyer's been making out-of-court settlements left and right to keep victims of the family happy. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Jesus! What the fuck isn't Arturo doing? Um, hello there, everybody. My name is Mordecai Flores. Um, please don't remind me I'm part of the Flores family. <laughs> Let's throw in a fake, a fake laugh here and there. Because of a treaty between the Lafayettes and Leonardo's, Lafayettes can't be in the underground. Not that it stopped Sean Lafayette from trying to get in. I hear she wore a fancy disguise and everything, but some Leonardo still recognized her. Was she okay? Yeah, she just trapped the gangsters in a logical paradox and ran away. I swear I I thought I saw paradise and I was like, gangsters paradise! <laughs> hey, you're Mordecai Flores. What are you doing at this party? Sorry, I'm just method acting. I'm a very convincing Mordecai lookalike for his uh, up-and-coming life story documentary. Isn't Priya already doing that? It's uh, a joint documentary about both our lives. Interesting. Parties are so boring. I can't even go upstairs to where the gambling is. Oh, so we haven't even met any of the interesting people. I didn't get a role in Priya's documentary. I still got invited back to this party, so I guess I can't complain. I sure hope this party doesn't end like the last get-together Priya had. I'm wearing the same outfit I did like last time. I feel like I'm almost jinxing myself. Why'd you do that? Well, I can't deny the clothes I got for that casting call were pretty. Designed by Sammy himself in Priya's iconic royal blue. I know it's not her favorite color, but you can't deny that she wears it well. Yeah, I hate solitaire solitaire honey we're not playing solitaire we're playing go fish <laughs> same aren't you mordecai flores how do you know priya i helped find her stalker he was pre pretending to be a chef dude yeah uh, hello there uh, oh um i'm just 
Wait, I don't have to explain. Who barges into an occupied bathroom? You didn't lock the door. If you were doing something else, I could have been traumatized. But... Traumatized! I guess you've got me there. Cordelia gave me a shaky smile. Was that urn always in this bathroom? Was there not one on- there's not one on this side. Is it me, or did that large urn move from somewhere else in the house? I don't think it did. They are very heavy after all. Hold on. This urn is made out of paper mache. What should we do? Yeah, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> Chef, dude, I won't let you get away this time. Oh, fuck, here we go. Is this Mordecai's version of the boss rush where we have to face a bunch of different bosses at, like, different parties? Hmm. Well. Well. I... This is a banger too, bruh. I'm thinking about a discharge. Wait, we don't even, wait, do you have Volt Absorb? No, you have Levitate. We're gonna go for an over, no, let's do Hex on the Mimikyu, I suppose, and then let's switch into Yum Yum. Down goes the Disguise and Dyson, okay. What's Priya's favorite color? Well, we heard that blue wasn't her favorite color, so I'm gonna assume purple. Hmm. That's right, but you don't know as much as I do about Priya. Oh. Oh, look at us go. Um, we've been yawned, but we've just risen everything. Um, I think this calls for an overheat into the Musharna. Let's double into the Musharna, and hopefully we can take it out here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Question. How many places has Priya in that were directed by Sean Lafayette? Five? <laughs> Wrong. Is it seven? Surely it's more than three. Trick room, okay. Then we fall asleep here. Okay, well luckily Yum Yum is slow as fuck. Snorlax comes out here. Okay. So Dyson's gonna switch for Who's the physically defensive one on this team? Probably slow bro? Or slow king? We are not a super physically defensive team other than Dyson here. Maybe we keep... No, we switch Dyson out here. And we go... Okay, where do we think... If Mimikyu attacks Dyson, it's not going to be with a fairy type move because Dyson would normally resist fairy type. So we'll switch into Jimbro because of that. And then I will... Should we just Thunderbolt the Mimikyu? Because I don't want to see this Mimikyu here anymore. Rock side. Okay, Yummy Yum actually... Another sword stance. This is not good. And of course it gets paralyzed. Okay, well... Um, I feel as though we're kind of forced into doubling in to the Mimikyu here. 
just to confirm the kill. So I'm gonna go for a rock slide and then another thunderbolt. And hopefully, okay, the player off is gonna kill Jinbro, unfortunately. That really sucks. But wait, rock slide probably kills Yum Yum here. Giga Impact? Shit, okay. Um, do we have priority? This is really bad, actually. Does anybody have priority? I could, like, Rage Powder into, like, Rage Powder into Shadow Ball is what I'm thinking here. See, Rage Powder is a good move. And Shadow Ball into Mimikyu. Oh, and it's fully paired. That's nice. Okay, Giga... Did it not just use Giga Impact? Does it have one of the herbs? Okay. Okay, Delmize. Interesting. Um, so we switch into... Do we switch into Dyson? We have to, I feel like. And then... We just Shadow Ball the Delmize. Gyro Ball. Okay, that's fine. Darkest Lariat. We... Brock, this dude that okay. dimensions finally return to normal. Thank fucking god. Um, I guess we'll just try and overheat. We'll just double into the Delmize. I'm sure. Yeah, Dyson is still asleep. Yeah, yeah, and Jesus fucking Christ. Holy fuck. Um. I'm going to sludge bomb you and then we'll switch into a loose, I suppose. So, oh my god, you're kidding me. Um So if theoretically we sludge bomb Delmize We'd have to like spirit break. Um, so I'm actually going to, God, this fucking sucks, dude. Um, okay. Change of plans here. What we're actually going to do is we will we'll use this turn to heal up. We have one revival herb, Jimbro. And then we'll stay in a new spear break, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, that does fucking nothing, dude. Get get impact into a loose. Okay, I'm fine with that actually. Poltergeist. Jesus, bro. Oh my god, okay. Um we go with No, actually I'm keeping the Delmize around. And we'll hammer arm into Snorlax and then Fuck it, I guess we'll use our apple cider. And we'll 
use it on... Honestly, Dyson's just such a good Pokemon. Boom. Okay. Goodbye, Snorlax. That's big. Poltergeist. Fisted Spoon. Okay. That takes us out, unfortunately. And we can bring in Dyson here. Slow King. Okay, this is... This Slow King is Ghost Psychic, I'm pretty sure. Galarian... Galarian Slow King is Poison Psychic. Okay. So Poison Psychic, you say. Hello. Hello. I'm here. I'm in Eastern Time. Oh, so you're probably tired. A bit, yeah. don't have a proper mic, so I have to use my headset. It's all good. Um... I've been logged in. Oh my god. Uh, so then... We're really good at taking out this Delmize, even though the Delmize is almost dead. We are not really good at taking out this... Okay, we'll do that, and then, sure, I guess we'll Thunder Wave. I don't know if that's the best play, but that gives us a higher potential of being able to move and not dying in a turn. Oh, someone else just joined. Oh, holy shit. What? Uh, my sister and I just went to see I Saw the TV Glow. Holy shit. So fucking good. Mm. That it, it is a movie that everyone should see, honestly. You're but kidding me. It, no, bro, I am not kidding you. Bro, I it just is. used Thunder Wave, and in the same turn, the, this guy used Trick Room. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is an incredibly powerful and heartbreaking movie. Um, yeah, it's... This thing has a weakness policy? And we miss over you. You're kidding me. Like I just said, kid, I'm in Eastern Time and don't have access to a proper mic, so I'm ah, stuck with gotcha. my head. Gotcha. We just lost that battle off of this turn. I legitimately, like, can we. I also apparently forgot to charge it, so I have to have this headset tethered right now. Hmm. Yum. Right, we have some of these, okay. At least it um, lets me do that, unlike a certain other headsets. Right, so we're facing this poison psychic. I mean, I'm just gonna revive Rudy, I guess. I got my hands on the Paper Mario remake as well just today oh, nice actually. nice uh I, I knew the graphics were better i did not know they were this good oh yeah the, it looks beautiful and i uh, kind of forgive them for cutting the frame rate in half now and for anyone interested me oh 
Probably okay, random question. Move. I don't know if this actually, if this play um, exists, but false. true or false, Noah, Priya secretly longs to play the lead in I Want to Be Your Canary. I don't know that. What? I don't know yeah. if this is real or not, but we'll see. So I'm going to say true because I... there's no actual false one. Hee <laughs> ho What? The fuck? How am I supposed to know whether that's true or not? Okay, well. Please don't have, like, fucking Thunderbolt or some dumb shit. You probably have Shadow Ball just like me. Wait. Oh! Actually, Liam would be more likely to get that. It's apparently from Final Fantasy IX. I have not played more than, like, an hour of that game. So. Okay, no! well, yeah, I, I really want to. You're I want fucking to be kidding me! He poisons yeah, me! I've just yeah. never gotten around to playing it. It's it's a play from Final Fantasy. It is like a play in the game of Final Fantasy IX. Oh. Yeah. Final Fantasy IX is like the celebratory Final Fantasy. Uh, it's the last, uh, basically combined elements of everything before it. The last one that the director of that era did, and the last one that Nobu Umatsu composed the entire score of. Uh, I need yeah, to, like... Also, also on the subject of Paper Mario from earlier, uh, me, Jacob, and Alex are actually doing an LP of it. Alex has never experienced the game before. I've watched a couple playthroughs. Jacob has played through it. So we're playing through it with Alex. Um, we've recorded... We've essentially recorded four episodes so far. Um... Uh, and I am working on, uh, editing down the first one. I mean, I'm not doing extensive edits for this series like I do for Infinite Fusion, but also my Infinite Fusion playthrough with Alex, uh, returned yesterday. So. So that I haven't gotten the chance Pardon to Pardon me wishes I could join and that I, but I can't. I'm, I'm here. That's fair. Far away. Yeah. Although what I might do just to troll people, I guess, or whatever, is when I get back to a Let's Play of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo GameCube. No, honestly, you know what you should do? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if... if Because how well do you know the game? I have not beaten it. Okay, then never mind, do not do this. <laughs> because I was going to suggest there is... What, like a randomizer or something? No, not a randomizer. Well, I mean, not a randomizer in the traditional sense. Um, someone took the game and translated it through Google Translate a bunch to make Book of Mario Thousands of Doors. Oh, no. <laughs> it's I've watched I've watched a playthrough of that. It is hilarious. <laughs> Sounds like it would be, but yeah. If you want to experience it, I highly recommend checking out Tom Fox's LP of it. What else is on this dude's team? That was a long ass battle too. I really thought we were gonna win. So far, I'm enjoying the uh, quality of life improvements. Although I have to ask, did you have, did you get the nostalgia badge? Uh, no, we're only on chapter one. Yeah, it's like, like right at it's, it's right at the beginning of the game. Oh. I don't think so. Uh, there's this place near the inn in Rogueport where you can buy badges. One of them is the Nostalgia Badge, reverting all of the soundtrack back to how it was on the GameCube. Oh, okay. That won't really affect our playthrough anyway because we have... Yeah, it also it, uses... Alex's... It also, it's one coin and it uses zero badge points. Yeah. With Alex's setup, for some reason, we weren't able to record game audio, so... Wow. All right. Yeah, we're we're not sure why, but I'm just gonna like put some. 
I'm just gonna put, like, Nintendo lo-fi music in the background or something, like, just to have background music. It's funny, I had that happen with my most recent Final Fantasy VI video, and I just edited in the OST from the game when it was relevant. That's gonna be too much work for me. <laughs> I'll be real. <laughs> Enough, I guess. Yeah. Especially because it's it's gonna be a thing through the whole playthrough. But yeah, but still, lot lot of fun. Um, if you if you watched me and Jacob's playthrough of the first Paper Mario game that we did a couple years ago, um, I forgot you did that. Mm-hmm. Very similar in tone and vibe, just with one more person. Is Cade um, like has Cade like tuned us out or like muted, deafened himself? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I no, well, you, I just lost the battle play. because the the slow king that I was facing got so he had a weakness policy. He yeah. hit sludge bomb and then poisoned me with like ten percent of my health left. And yeah. that was that was that. So I am just kind of annoyed right now because I know I I can I I'm feeling like this is going to be the boss rush case. Remember we had the boss rush case a few times before, or like a few cases ago where like I got like I basically rage quit that. So like I'm just trying to like gear myself up for what I can. Feel. This isn't a boss rush case. Oh, I just need. I just can't fucking beat. Also, What's welcome to the chat, Katie Pokemon Brick Bronze. Yeah, welcome. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. Uh, go play we'll just, Voltorb Flip. We go play Voltorb Flip. Hmm. Actually, that might be a decent idea. That might not be the worst idea. Um, what I do need to do, though, is I need to get healing items somewhere. There is a direct reference to your love for Voltorb Flip in the newest Infinite Fusion episode. Oh. Is be because when we record Actually, I'm it, so sad right now. I'm so sad right now because YouTube isn't e even able to hear you because I'm going to have to mute this audio because of uh, oh. because of copyright music. Oh, that's unfortunate. Made your own po you made your own Pokémon game. Congrats. Congrats. I know I can train elsewhere. I just know this is where I can train now. Um, and we might as well train our team up. At least we can buy it. Actually, no, 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 because they changed the way you grind in this game. Dude, I'm so used to the auto enough trainer. Yeah, but um, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, because this episode of Pokemon Infinite Fusion was recorded, like, almost exactly a year ago. Oh, wow. Um, I just never got around to editing it, because the way I was going to edit Infinite Fusion and the way I edited the first two is going to be a lot more time-consuming. Basically, I'm not doing a team layout anymore. Uh, a, because it takes too much time, and B, because DeviantArt ruined itself. Um...